we've talked a lot about the stuff that, that changes in culture and, and the things that sort of have to change to effectively reach people. But there's probably some things that never change a, as a church. C could you talk about those a little bit? Well, I, I think there I would just go back to our, our centrality of our theology in, in, you know, sola scriptura, sola gratis, sola fide. I mean, it's by grace through faith that we are saved, uh, and it's in the scriptures that we, we discover and God brings to us that, that wonderful gift of, of grace through Jesus Christ. Uh, I think the, the hymns of the church at the same time, uh, you know, there are some wonderful hymns there that we, we should not change. We should elevate those, but again, put maybe different music around them or whatever it may be. But, uh, so I think the, ba the core basis of who we are as a church, sacramental, uh, baptism, Lord's Supper, centrality, that centrality of the Word of God, uner inerrancy of the Word of God, uh, our law gospel orientation, fabulous orientation, that we can look at Scripture and we can right away know, is this something God demands of us or is this something God is giving us? And just that simplicity of looking at Scripture and helping, helping our people learn that simplicity and the life-giving aspect of, of, God, of the gospel, where the gospel has no buts on it. You know, it's just the gospel. Those things are never going to change. Uh, you know, even, I think, uh, an appreciation of the office of the ministry being a supporting office, an equipping office, a propagating office. Uh, those, those type of things should not, should not change. You know? Now, how you dress, perhaps, or, or your setting you're going to be in, or you, do you even need this kind of a setting, or whatever it may be, but our theology and, and our, uh, our, our appreciation for the mysteries of God that come to us through the Word and through the sacraments, I, those are just non-negotiables. You know. Yeah, that's great. I, I imagine it's probably helpful to people when they hear that there are, you know, in the midst of all the changes going on around us, there are things that we cling to that never change, that are universal, that, um, that go across cultures, too. So I, I would imagine it's very helpful when people are navigating that change. 